Hey dolls. Okay. So I'm filming this on my phone. Um, but I'm really excited because today I'm getting yet another new spider friend. And this one is actually from Kathy at the bug plug. We are getting another odiosis, a Fitipus odiosis. I'm so excited. Um, you guys know I have my Fitipus odiosis previously that I got from another breeder and I'm excited to get another one because I love their personality so much and they're just so unique and cute and oh, I'm obsessed. So um, yeah, I guess we're gonna go to FedEx to go pick up the baby and I will be back with you in a little bit to talk about all the fun stuff. So I'll be back. So they ship via Ship Your Reptile, it looks like, which is awesome. I brought my little box cutter so that I can open this. Oh, there's this, oh, stop, how cute. Hashtag stop the smoosh. It's a pin. <laughs> Stop this How <laughs> cute is that? Oh my goodness. And then there's a sticker that says stop this mush. It's all holographic. Look at that one. Uh, oh, yeah. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so she included a starter kit for the spooter, which means it came with a little container, a little, um, enclosure with a little flower and this should be let's see what's in here this should be the spood this should be the baby lay baby oh my gosh oh he's so, so tiny. tiny well it's oh. gonna be like beings it's gonna be so tiny he's over here you see him yes no that's a molt oh my god he molted that's a molt see Oh, I see him in there, right there. Okay. Let me, I, yeah. I'll open I it. <laughs> oh, there he is. He looks just like beans. He's coming to greet you. He is. Oh my gosh. Again, we don't know if this is male or female. It is unsexed for now. Okay. Why do you kind of open it? Oh, I just want to peek. Oh my gosh. Looks just like Binksy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so little. I'll show you guys later. I just he's wanted to make so sure that he was alive. Tiny. He's just the same size as Binks, but yeah, there's a molt in there. Um, but there is that cutie. Get him out of the sun. We'll set him in the cup holder for now. <laughs> okay, so here is the little um, enclosure. And then also, I got some fly pupae because I have ordered fly pupae like twice from Josh's Frogs, and every time, they arrive um, like hatched, like completely hatched. So the cool thing is with Kathy at Bug Plug, she actually ships with an ice pack. And while it is completely and totally dead, um, hopefully my flies won't be this time. So this should be, oh, okay, 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 okay. There's, There's flies. Fly one. There's flies. <laughs> So they are in like an organza bag. They're not in a container. Um, so I'm gonna open this at home because I, nope, nope. We're not opening that in the car. That is a disaster. We had one fly in the car yesterday <laughs> and it drove us both insane. Okay, saving those for at home. We will get there. And then this is, she does little empty fruit fly cultures. So this is just the media and the little, oh my gosh, this starts, starts with an E. I can't remember what it's called, but I will talk more about it later. Um, but you just add fruit flies to this and then you can kind of create your own culture in a little shaker bottle. So it is a lot easier to, you know, shake out the little, the little cuties. And then there's also a little mini misting bottle. Okay, I will talk to you guys more when I get back home. Okay, so I am back home now and I have my little my little baby here. Um, I haven't put them in the enclosure just yet because I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about some stuff before I did so. So yes, it appears as if they do use Ship Your Reptile or um, this Reptiles to You. I'm not sure if they just use the box or if they go through they go through it says reptiles express llc so i 
think that's who they go through, um, like a third party or whatever to ship their stuff. Um, I'm kind of unfamiliar with the process of that, to be honest, but I have heard that several breeders will ship this way. So if for whatever reason there are issues that arise um, in shipping and things like that, the third party can kind of step in and help with that. Um, so I will first and foremost say you guys saw in the video, I showed that the packaging itself heavily indicates that there are live animals inside. I love the custom little stickers on here. Live harmless invertebrates, avoid direct sun and extreme temps. Please handle with care. Also, can we address the cute packaging? Everything had these cute little uh, color coordinating little baggies, which were all themed and everything. And then she printed out these little care sheets. I don't know if she does this specifically for everyone or if she just did this for me because she knew I was going to be doing my unboxing video. Um, but there also was the styrofoam in there. The cold pack was on the bottom. So let's go ahead and talk about the individual items really quick. So you guys saw that I got the the little um the little pin and then the little sticker here those are so cute i'm definitely going to be using those and then there's another sticker in here and it says i didn't choose the bug life the bug life chose me and it's super cute your hookup for all things invertebrate i love this this is hilarious this little sticker also yes i am missing nails they are popping off like crazy and i'm just letting them do their thing the cool thing about the bug plug is they offer these little starter kits so if you are new to jumping spiders or even mantises or i think they have a couple other on there that offer the starter kits as well uh this is a great option because you get your um small little enclosure here there is a pipe cleaner a little twisty pipe cleaner in there and then there is a fake flower glued on the container and you can display these just like this which is awesome because then they won't have that top open um they have this little door here that allows you to kind of go in there and mist accordingly or even um to you know put some fruit flies in or to use your little culture and sprinkle them so that is awesome i love that um i'm gonna be using this as like a backup kind of spare enclosure i do have one for my little baby uh that i'm gonna be putting them in i'll show you guys in a minute uh, but the starter kit does also come with a little uh spritzer a little mist bottle this one's awesome like i said i have a huge one that i use for my spiders here but this one will be really cool to just kind of like take with me um if i do decide to ever like take a spider like on a day trip with me somewhere or just like an extra little travel one or god forbid you know my other one breaks and i can't get to the store fast enough or i have to wait to for another one to get here from amazon this is a good option alternative um just in case. So that's great to have that as a backup. And the fruit fly little culture is awesome. If you guys are familiar, let me grab mine real quick. This is what my, my fruit flies are looking a little, a little dry. We're, we're getting pretty low on our media here. So I'm glad that I have this option. I actually did just order some new media as well from Josh's frogs. So that should be here probably soon. Because I'm going to move these guys into these condiment bottles, which I've seen people do. It just makes it so much easier when it comes to feeding because the fruit flies kind of go all over the place. And yes, I do know the trick where you can like stick them in the fridge for a few minutes to kind of like put them in hibernation mode. But I've seen also people put their cultures in these and then they just, you know, pop the top and then like squeeze a couple into the enclosures which is awesome but i do also really love that kathy offers these as an option this is the small size she does also have a larger size um, but there's just a little shaker jar so like you can just stick these in the fridge for a couple minutes prior to feeding to kind of put them in that hibernation mode you just tap it down a little bit and then you can kind of just sprinkle a little bit on there there is there appears to be a little bit of ventilation in here as well which is of course necessity this is wonderful if you just have like one 
to like 10 small slings, you know, and you just got to feed some here and there. This should keep a pretty active culture going for a bit. It also does have some instructions on here, which is awesome. She did include, like I said, the little care sheets. So I kind of wanted to go through these. This is a paper all about basic jumping spider care. I think that all of these care guides and things are available through the website. So if you want to take a look at this prior to purchasing, I will link it down below if I can find it. They're on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, all under the bug plug. Um, and then it also tells you like what feeders to feed each um, like instar, which is awesome and super helpful. And they don't just have jumping spiders. They have all kinds of other stuff as, to, as well. They have tarantulas, they have reptiles, they have mantises, like they have, they have so many different things. So there are some notes on here I wanted to discuss. I want to talk a little bit about shipping. You guys saw that it was shipped via two-day FedEx, and I actually had it held at my local hub. That is awesome because it requires the box to be held in a temperature-controlled environment versus being in a hot truck during the middle of summer all day long until it's delivered to your front door. Um, and then potentially sitting there for however long until you realize that it's been delivered. If it is really, really hot, like our temperatures are like 108 and like in the triple digits lately. And so having it held at the hub is a lot more convenient um, as far as the well-being of the spider goes. Especially if you go to work or school, you can kind of have your spider kept there in the nice environment, completely labeled that it's a live animal. And then when you're ready, you can go pick it up and it shouldn't have you know, had too much impact from the high temperatures. This also goes really well with when it's cold outside in the winter time. It's really helpful that this is an option. I will say that they do include, you do have the option for a severe weather pack. So you can pay for that additionally. If it's like too hot or too cold, they can put a warm pack or a cold pack. There was an ice pack in with mine and I suggested that and I asked for that specifically just because I was getting the housefly pupae and I needed them to like not all hatch upon arrival because I've had two failed attempts at housefly pupae from Josh's frogs. They sent me one and then it all arrived hatched. Like they were all hatched and then they sent me a replacement and they all arrived hatched and dead so um luckily josh's frogs made it right they ended up giving me a refund in the in the end but um i decided oh well let's go through kathy and see if we have better luck that way um and we did uh not all of them have hatched there there were a handful that hatched but that was pretty much to be expected especially with the high temps so i'm not upset about that at all we have some pupae that i have stored in the fridge for now which is great Instead of the separate invoicing that they were doing prior, they're now going to offer flat rate FedEx shipping prices. So it's going to be so much easier when you're checking out through the website and things like that. Um, of course, if you're going to order multiple spiders, your shipping cost isn't going to go up because the weight isn't really going to go up. So that's definitely a plus in my book. That's why when I order from breeders, I like to get more than just one spider usually which mind you, I have two more coming in the mail tomorrow. Um, but <laughs> I digress. Kathy is amazing, super helpful. Of course, you can reach out, I believe via any of the social medias, um, and I'm sure she'll get back to you. I have communicated with her via Facebook and I have had good luck with that. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the little cutie. So I have Binks, my other of uh, Phytopus odiosus in here, in this little enclosure. You can see they're in the little hammock right here on the flowers. Uh, this is one of the tarantula cribs mini canopies. They have the little magnetized door, which is super handy and simple. And I love these enclosures so much. So the new baby we have, again, it is unsexed because it is difficult to tell with the odiosis. Let me show you the little container a little bit better. So there is a custom little tag on here that says P. odiosis. 
And then on the bottom, there is a date. And this is actually the emerge date. Um, I asked Kathy later on, and she confirmed this is the emerge date from the sack. This isn't the actual hatch date. They did take down a little fruit fly for me when I brought them home. I gave them a little fruit fly. And they are just cruising around in there. Look how teeny tiny. Oh my gosh, do you want to come say hi? You did a fresh molt on the way here. Hi. Hi, Angel. Oh, you don't want to come say hi? You are a little bit faster than Banks. Come here. There we go. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> oh, you're so bouncy. Hi, hi. All right, so there we go. We have our little baby. I will try and insert some photos so you can see them a little bit close up. Literally just looks like Binks's twin. So cute. I think this one might be a molt in advance from Binks. But um, I'm not 100% sure on that. But oh my gosh, you are so jumpy and so cute. Hi. Hi. Yes. So the Odiosis, from what I've experienced with Binks, is the most personable species I've had to date so far. Just loves being handled, loves exploring, is so curious, is just so fun and active and just so cute. So I really wanted another one. We love our little baby. So this little baby does have a name. I have picked a gender fluid name. Um, so no matter what sex is, you know, just like with Binks, we can kind of, um, just keep calling them the same thing. We don't have to switch names. So this one is named Biscuit. So we have Binks and Biscuit. So this is Lil Biscuit. Lil Biscuit is a little jumpy baby. <laughs> so precious. Oh, and I did also forget to mention, oh, there you go. You're in there. <laughs> So cute. So of course that's not going to be a permanent enclosure. That will just be for now until they can grow up into, you know, we'll, we'll gradually bump up and rehouse as we need to. But I did also make a little tag, a little name tag and Biscuit is in there. So now we have Banks and Biscuit. And I did also want to mention real quick the little deli cup. There are ventilation holes. There was a paper towel to prevent them from bumping around everywhere. And then there were also some fruit flies. Thank you so much, Kathy. I, everything arrived perfectly. I'm so happy that you suggested me to go pick them up at the hub versus having them at my door. Um, very knowledgeable in the fact of checking the temperatures before shipping out to see what the best fit is for shipping really appreciate that. Thank you so much for communicating with me and being so sweet. And I'm so excited. Of course, I will update you guys on the progress of Biscuit and all of my other babies. Like I said, I am getting two more spiders tomorrow from someone different. I don't know if I'm going to film that as an unboxing video. I might just like film part of the unboxing and then just like include it in like a spider update. So we'll see. I love adding more little eight-legged kittens to my to my clan here. I'm officially the crazy spider lady and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I'm in love. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all soon. All right, so until next time, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you.